Okay, uh, the purpose of this video is really just to introduce the unit on linear functions, equations, and graphs. And, uh, and so uh, there will be more instruction on the various objectives for this unit. But uh, I just want to use this as an introduction to kind of keep you, you uh, give you the big picture of what we're going for here. Uh, really, a linear equation and a, uh, the graph of a line and uh, an input-output table, those are three different ways of representing the same information. Or maybe another way to say it is three different ways of um, representing a relationship between sets of numbers. Okay? And so by the end of this whole thing, what I really want you to be able to do is to be able to, uh, if you're given a table, to be able to produce a graph or a linear equation. And if you're given a linear equation, you should be able to produce a graph or a table. And if you're given the graph, again, you should be able to produce the linear equation or uh, the table. So given one of these three things, you should be able to produce the other two. So before we start, let's go over a few terms uh, that are important for this unit. Uh, if you remember that when you have a this this x and y, uh, this is called a coordinate plane. Okay, you can plot values on a, a two-dimensional surface on a coordinate plane. Uh, the horizontal line is your x-axis, and your vertical line is your y-axis. Just to give you a little bit more vocabulary, uh, where the line crosses the y-axis, that's called your y-intercept. And where the line that you graph crosses the x-axis, that's called the x-intercept, okay? Uh, oftentimes we, you know, or, or linear equations, uh, we call this an equation. It can also be uh, called a function. And a function is just means that for every input, uh, and I'll explain what that means in just a second. For every input, there's only going to be one output, okay? So you can't input one number and then outcome two different numbers, okay? And, and again, as you, we start to unpack this and we talk about domain range, you'll see what that means. Okay, so uh, typically uh, the input, or I'd say always, the input is going to be your x and then the output is going to be y. And uh, I've written this line, okay, and it extends on in each direction. But let's say that if it were to stop only here and stop here, then you would also have, uh, for this line, uh, the domain uh, is, is all of the input values, right? If it were to stop here, your domain would be six, ne uh, negative six, I'm sorry, and uh, all the way through, negative six all the way through positive two, because again, if this, this line stopped, then that would be the only x values. Uh, the reason why I haven't put that is because I'm saying that it continues, but uh, if, it, if it stopped, it had a starting point and a stopping point, all the x values in between there would be your domain. And then uh, your range would be all of your y values. So if I was, if, again, if this line stopped here, and if it stopped at this point here, then all my y values would be between uh, negative 6 and then positive 6, if you're using these two points. Okay, and you'll see more of that as you go into Algebra 1 and on. Uh, now, I want you to notice a, a few more things with me in this introduction here. Uh, this table... If you'll notice, the input or domain is made up of the x values. The output or range is made up of the y values. And all of these x and y values correspond to a point on the graph. So here, x is negative 6, y is negative 6. You know that we put x comma y, right, first, okay? X is, where x is negative 4, in other words, if I input negative 4, for x, out is going to come a negative 3. If I input a negative 2 for x, out is going to come a 0. And you can see the pattern that's happening here. By the way, it's not on accident, or, or in this particular one, 
Uh, for a linear equation, if you're going up by the same increments uh, on the x, then this is going to go up by the same increments on the y. So here's all of the uh, data that I pulled from my table. And then hopefully you will notice already, uh, or you will now, that these are all coordinates on my coordinate plane. Negative 6, comma, negative 6. Negative 4, comma, negative 3. Negative 2, 0. 0, 3. And 2, 6. So you can see how the table and the graph uh, are representing the same information, just in a different way. Now, uh, maybe the one that's going to be the most tricky for you guys is to see uh, how does this relate to an equation. And it's really not that uh, complicated if you once you practice it a little bit. But here is uh, here is an equation, a linear equation that represents this table and this graph in a different way. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, if I keep using the term input and output, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick uh, one of these points and put it into this equation for x one of the x values, I'm going to put it in, substitute uh, x with the x value of one of the uh, coordinates, and then after we solve, we should, uh, we will get a y value, and that should be the same y value uh, for that coordinate. So let's do an example. Uh, sometimes the easiest one, well, one of the very easiest ones is to put in 0 in for x, okay? And uh, you'll learn in a future video that this is how you find the y-intercept. So I have this point 0, comma, 3. x is the 0, so I should be able to put substitute x for 0. You see how I replaced the x with the 0. And then now if I solve this, I will get 0 times 3 halves is 0, and I'm left with y equals 3. And that's why this coordinate is 0, comma, 3. If x is 0 and we solve it, y will become 3. Okay? And we can try one more. Uh, let's try if x is 2, what is y going to be? Well, y equals 3 over 2. And we said we're going to substitute x with the number 2 plus 3. So we know that 3 halves times 2 uh, the 2 is, you know, 2 over 1, the 2 is canceled, we get 3 plus this 3 equals y, and then y equals 6. So we've just seen that if x is 2, if x is our input, 2, and we solve, our output will be 6 for y. Uh, so... Again, this is, you know, just a, a kind of a introduction to kind of, hopefully you can see that there is a relationship between an equation and a graph and a table. And again, ultimately, uh, the goal is that if I give you, for example, a graph, you can show me the linear equation and the table. If I give you a linear equation, you can show me the graph and the table. If I give you the table, you can show me the graph and linear equation. And we'll go over how to start with one and produce the other two uh, in future lessons. Okay? So uh, hopefully you took notes. If you don't, didn't, maybe you need to go back and rewind. And uh, there was some vocabulary I put in there too that you can write your own definitions for. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.